to create meaning in relationships. So there we have the self, the I. And we see this happening in, in our mind, this balance, this balance screen, these events, the big thing right upon us, and so that is how we see the world, but if you look there, this point is called, also called the white head, in other words, the brain, the brain, so we see the white head, the brain, all the points. We see the, the white head, so we see the skull, we identify that self, that consciousness. As this white head is consciousness. Consciousness. Universal consciousness. You know, like with water and trees you know, and you know, planets and galaxies. Universal consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. Consciousness. So we see the consciousness is that seen. So we see the head. So we fall in love primarily with the shape of the head. This is how we identify with one another. This is the primary characteristic. Attracts people to each other. The shape of the cranium, the shape of the jaw, the shape of the head. So we're seeing and reflecting the shape of our head and identifying. This is why people, they say people look like they're dogs. People choose dogs with that breath, that cranial structure that mirrors their own. So you know, it's the actual shape of the cranium. Now the second thing on which relationships are built is seeing the mother and father. Now that is having a common family experience. So seeing the mother and father, this, this in the self, in, in the ego, is also all the sibling relationship, one, two, three, four, whatever. So there's all the sibling relationships here. And then there's an order coming here on the line, you know, on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the order of birth. So there's, in seeing the self, there's a family structure, and that is what is a tracks of future, that being a similar family structure. Or it can go on to you know, be attracted to each other because we've got the same problems with each other. Or it can go on to being attracted to each other because we're in the same situation. And we've been thrown into the same situation and think that that is what is determining our, our, our relationship with being, you know, the same festival, all living in the same village or the same county or the same town or. So we see. Familiarity being content is a basic exogamy. So, wanting to go to see new faces, a, a new movement in, in another town. The people will be different, but then we see those relationships. We reform the same relationships that we had, that we've developed in, a, in our energy relationships with others. So, people grow close to one another in love. And we have the behavior patterns, and and, and we're attracted to the same, the the, 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 the same species, the faces, the same male and female things. But we mirror and reflecting our mother and father's relationship and their natures that we reflect, that we mirror.
and then obviously, you know, as I explained before, that determines our our character, our oral anal character. And then you've got our sense of feeling at home, you know, of you know, if you like is the consideration of others being at home, being able to unwind, to have no delusion or barrier against others, to be able to drop the defences, or to be discreet about others, to cover others' failures. You see, in the home, in the family, in the family, the enemy should be treated as a friend, but this is how the family works, this is the disease, the hospitality. So there we have it. The, 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 the ego sees that world either the shape of the head or the, the, the mother father relationship, and it then mirrors it in the relationships. Now, in order to gain control of the, the system, you know, through the church and the state, it says that your mother and father are bad, so it breaks these relationships breaks these relationships and it substitutes them. So that the priest is then the pastor, is then the father, the painter, the father. So the priest replaces the father, so that the priest is then controlled. And you've had your relationship with the father and your mother broken. By the teaching of original sin. And then that Make you judge yourself, not as the incarnation of the divine. Not having the heart of gold. Not showing concern for others. You know, any form of self obsession or delusion. And then when the church and the state can control you away from your parents, this is what they do, do what when your children go to school, then you lose, lose that rhythm because they then are incorporated into the, the corporate thinking, the corporate thinking of the school under a headmaster, a dominant headmaster. Get you the corporate way of thinking and to break that with families. So although they go on about family values, they keep their family houses, they have their family homes, they have their family money. But the, the rest of us have no land, no family homes, and no money and exploited. By, the, by this corrupt system that has broken us away from our mothers and fathers, generation after generation. So the problems from relationships they accumulate over generations and generations, and the behaviour patterns. For example, alcoholism, or, or so you know, violent domestic abuse, all of you know, all of these things tempers the negative side deters from generation to generation, deliberately by the church and the state. So you lose your temper, therefore you lose your effect, and which is what we were saying in the first place. They need to be saved. So we need to crucify your king. The Narayan to be saved. That's it.